All right, welcome back to Shem's Universe. All right, guys, so today we're going to discuss expression slash name number six. So name number six is decoded by the planetary influence of Venus. So Venus is a planet of love, beauty, sex. Um, we've been through this before, for sure. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I have a little bit of allergies. Um, so we're going to go over the six today, and um, I'm going to break down the different archetypes of the six, and we're going to go over number six, 15, 24, and I'm going to skip all the way to 51 for a very special reason, all right? So today we're going to discuss number six to primarily start off with. The number six is influenced directly by Venus, which means anybody with a name number of simply six, hence meaning that you go by a name that vibrates to six or your full name somehow adds to just simply number six, which is highly improbable. Um, with that number, you'll have a lot of attraction with people. The number five is the most lucky number because of the intellect, but number six is the most attractive number. It's a number that just naturally gets people. People naturally are attracted to people with this name number for one reason or another. Whether you're male or female, you'll have a natural attractiveness. If I was you, I'd use this to my advantage. I would use this for business deals, um, relations. You know, you have the upper hand, of course, and anything else that you can decide on that would really need that level of law of attraction. Um, the next one would be the number 15, which is considered one of the most important and powerful numbers of the number six, aside from the 33 that I'd argue. The 15 now, these guys have the number one sun influence, the number five, which is what we discussed in the last video, which was Mercury. When that adds to number six, that gives this person a very dynamic personality. Um, when I read into it in the Eastern numerology, it says that these people use occult sciences to get what they want in life and that they will also have natural skills to start any business because of the sun and because of Mercury. Those two numbers are extremely good for business. Combine that and it adds to number six, which is going to make you very attractive, which is going to attract independent business to you. A lot of women end up opening things like dance studios, um, men open up martial art dojos, etc. So you get people that are very into the public relations, but they run their business independently. Um, anything from cosmetics, beauty, etc. can also go into the number six list because it just has to do with attraction. These people naturally do get it and always have a lot of beautiful things around them, such as nice furniture, um, TVs, jewelry, wine, etc. They'll always have that type of attraction level when you see these people. Uh, the number 24 is uh, exalted number six. Uh, you get two, which is the moon, then four, which is Rahu, adding to number six. These people have extremely, what they say, good luck. Um, the 15 is like the most powerful one, arguably, but the number 24 has a lot of natural luck. Meaning number 24, if you have that as your name number, not your birth, but name, you'll find that you get things kind of easy. In the occult sciences with numerology, a lot of people end up switching their name to 24, especially if they have a hard life path number, like number eight or a number seven. I'd arguably say that like you don't really need to change your name. I think that whatever name we were given at birth or the name that we choose to go by is more of a natural way to um, use the energy in comparison to switching your name to a specific number. I don't think it really works like that. My opinion is that you need to just use the number that you were given and use it to its full potential. Figure out the lesson that it offers you and then figure out the capacity that you can use it in the real world. All right. Number 33, guys, um, I want to bring this up in the last video. I'm not going to discuss the 33 as of yet. I know I discussed 11 and 22, but I'm actually going to do a separate video for you guys after I do numbers 1 to 9 for name numbers. And I'm going to go over the karmic numbers, which are 13, 14, 16, and 19. And I'm also going to go over the master numbers individually as well, I meaning the 11, 22, and 33. And I'm going to actually break these down in more detail because I feel like I wasn't actually um, detailed enough for you guys in regards to name numbers as of yet. So I want to break those specific numbers down and make sure you guys get some full detail on it. All right. The final number I'm going to go over since I'm skipping 33 is the number 51. 51 entails the strength of 10,000 lions. If you Google the symbolism of number 51, it really shows you somebody who's very, very strong, very dynamic. These people can do pretty much whatever they want to do in life and they will um, pretty much take over. If you have somebody with this name number, you'll probably know because they're very highly energetic and they seem to never be tired. They always get things done with what they call the strength of the lion. It's the same as 15. However, the five is first, giving them that mental acumen and then secondary, the number one, which is going to give them the power of the sun. When that adds to six, just like 15, you get a very dynamic individual with hardcore leadership skills. 
It's more amplified than number 51. I cannot really tell you as of why, but I just know that practitioners of the Eastern numerology claim that it has a lot more potential than the 15, or they argue that it's around the same, but 51 has the symbolism of the 10,000 lines. So if you guys have any questions regarding name number six whatsoever in regards to different archetypes, uh, please let me know. So restate what I said. The 33 we're going to go over in a separate video, and I'll definitely cover what all that means. All right, guys. So please like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I'll let me. I'll see you tomorrow.